Hi everyone. Here's the time for another cocktail. I know I'm skipping weeks. Listen, I'm busy. But um, I have a fun cocktail this week. It is not my creation. I actually Googled uh, a long time ago because I have a bottle of green, green chartreuse and I did not know what to do with it because it is not... Um, it's a very particular taste. You know, it's very herbal. I find it very strong. There's a, there's a sweet and sour in it. Yeah, it's it's really special, <laughs> but it's still fun. I bought it a while ago because there's a cocktail that I, I dream of doing. I think it's called The Last Word because I'd seen this uh, video of the most expensive cocktail. I don't know if it's in New York and Chicago. And uh, they use this really, really old chartreuse and it's with gin, I think, and with... Um, a cherry liqueur and something else, but I never got the cherry liqueur and whatever, it's fine. But I Googled this, this cocktail and um, I tried it actually last weekend when I was busy and not thinking about doing a video, but I'm doing it for you guys this time because it's really tasty. So it's actually like a, um, a Negroni, but instead of the Campari, it's with the green chartreuse. So it has an ounce of this beautiful sweet vermouth, Dylan's. Hi, shout out to my peeps at Dylan's. And I have the orange bitters from Dylan's. Yeah, Ontario Company, fantastic. So an ounce of, because a Negroni is one ounce, one ounce, one ounce of sweet vermouth, gin, and Campari. This time, same thing. One ounce of sweet vermouth, one ounce of gin. And I'm using Bombay Sapphire because that's what I had in the cupboard because there's no more of the other stuff. And, but it's still fine, it's still very delicious. And one ounce of green chartreuse. And you put a little bit of orange bitters in it because we're gonna garnish with a cherry. And I have a special glass. So let me just take a little bit of ice to put in my stirring cup. And let's start measuring. So one ounce of green chartreuse. Couple of dash of the orange bitters. One ounce of gin. Mm. One ounce of sweet vermouth. And we stir and we stir and we stir all day. No, not all day, maybe 30 seconds. We just need, you remember the trick is that you gotta touch the glass. As soon as the glass becomes cold, that means that the ice did its job and your liquid inside is um, cold. And don't forget that when you have a stirring cup with this long special, because you see it's kind of twisted, the, the handle, the spoon, is because you put the back to the glass and then you stir and it's so easy. You don't need to have a professional. I'm not a professional, I just love it. But ooh, 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 my glass is getting pretty chilled. So we are ready. Let's go like this, glass. And we pour in this beautiful little glass. You see, there's no ice in it. I decided to kind of go neat on this one. And so the garnish I was saying is actually a cherry. What I do is I actually purchase these, these uh, cans of cherries and they're called red sour pitted cherries and they don't have a lot of crap in it. It's uh, red sour cherries, water, sugar. So you like that, I like that. And um, so I pull out one, put it in the glass and that's it. And this, cocktail that I found online is called Le Bijou, which means the jewel. So it's absolutely wonderful, but this is our little cocktail for the week. I hope you try it. The cherry looks a little bit weird because the skin is moving. Up. It's still round. But uh, shout out to everyone. And yeah, I know Sue, this is not a cocktail about you this week, but love you, my friend. Love everybody. Cheers.